hey what's up everybody and welcome back to the channel today for another review and today we're going to be reviewing the film answer down which is coming to theaters october 7th um this did have a little slight theatrical run already earlier um so some folks might have seen it as of sometime in september uh, but nonetheless, this has been a project that a lot of people have had their eyes set on. One being because of this fantastic cast up and down. There's so many names attached to it. Um, but yeah, after checking it out, uh, we're going to give you some of our thoughts, some of our feelings, some of our reactions to what we saw in this film. Uh, so Terrell, I guess we start with you. Did you like it? Did you dislike it? What's your thoughts? Um, I didn't, like I said, I went into the movie blind, so I, I didn't have any expectations. I, I didn't know what the movie was exactly going to be about. Only thing that really grabbed me when I heard about it was the, I, I knew the, the cast. And when you tell me Christian Bale, John David Washington, and Margaret Robbie's going to be in the movie. I, I'm like, well, I don't even need to know what the synopsis is. I'm coming in. <laughs> uh, but no, I liked it. I thought the, the comedic bits were, were really good. Uh, I think I thought the, the trio worked very well together um, mm -hmm. for, for, for what this movie was. Uh, and I, I like it, it was a little long at times. I think it, it just kind of dragged on certain parts, but I, I definitely enjoyed it um, for, for, for what they gave us with, you know, within the two hours of the movie. Yeah. Uh, so this is uh, brought to you by, and this, I mean, like, he wore all the hats here, produced, written, and directed by David uh, O. Russell, who I haven't seen a film from him in forever. And the last time he's done a film, it was Joy, uh, which also starred Robert De Niro. Robert De Niro is in this film as well, too. And um, also alongside of Jennifer Lawrence. But in this film, like he just decided that he wanted to call up everybody he knew and throw in this film. So we're <laughs> talking about the folks like Christian Bale, Margot Roby, uh, John David Washington. That's our trio. That's our lead here. But you got the likes of Chris Rock, who was really fantastic in this, by the way. Right. Anya Taylor Joy, who is one of my favorite actors out there, I think, in terms of just how she emotes in any character she plays, it's just always attention grabbing. Uh, Zoe Zaldana, who I'm also a huge fan of, Mike Myers. Uh, I mean, the list goes on and on. I, I, I should I, I did I even mention uh, 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 Rami uh, Malak, and then as I mentioned also earlier in Robert De Niro. So, like, <laughs> just look into that cast, and you're like, what in the world is this film about to be about? Um, as a person who's not really a fan of period pieces, um, I did enjoy this. I think there was a good balance of of history being told here. Um, and 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 good acting, uh, sort of interesting characters, um, and 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 just a good toning of like kind of going down the 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 timeline of these events, but also throwing in some comedy to kind of soften things up, um, and just kind of making uh moments where the, the film never felt too serious, as serious right. as. The ramifications of things were it just never really felt so serious because you just had really fantastic acting from so many different folks who was able to contribute even in small roles um so this took place in the 1930s and basically this is uh it, it starts off from a murder that's being investigated and that's where we get our trio coming in um uh, and and you have uh christian bell who plays bert um, uh, who is a doctor. You have Margot Robbie's character, Valerie, who plays a nurse. And then you have John David Washington character, Harold, who plays a lawyer. Um, they had all met during war. They're, they're, they're trio. They're called the pack, you know, and, 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 and they always had this pack to kind of stay together. And like, while it wasn't a trio of love, you did have Harold and, Va and, and Valerie who were a thing, you know, Bert had his, his wife at home. Uh, which was really an abusive relationship. Yeah, I'm just gonna call it whatever it was, whatever <laughs> it is. But you know, they were they were just tight, you know, connected uh ever since they met, um, which they met in Amsterdam because <laughs> that's the name of the movie. Um you know, but, you know that the whole movie, yeah, yeah, for sure. There's a lot of references or or, or not so like Amsterdam, Amsterdam, and, and Amsterdam is kind of a metaphorical way of being used as to like the moment where everything just seems so easy. I guess it was their escape from everything they're around from war, uh, from being back in America. This was like the sort of fantasized, the romanticized version of their life that they wanted to have. Um, but yeah, it went from uh, it, it went from Harold being uh, approached to investigate what seemed to be a suspicious death 
of someone's dad to that person being murdered. And then there's this a whole big web of conspiracies that ultimately leads back into, um, uh, uh, so we say, a powerful underground organization who is basically trying to influence and yet uh, control uh, the world by taking control over major government. So it's just a plow, a powerful plot of power, a plot from powerful people who are trying to, to trying to use their money and their resources to influence, to take control over certain things, which in this case had to do with the U S and an election that was going to happen. Uh, I don't want to give too much more, but that's sort of just the, the, the feeling that you go into this film is that you have this really big compl- political conspiracy um, in the United States and you got so many different folks involved. And as the viewers, you're just trying to put together what's happening, who's on what side. I think there's a little bit of a predictable factor in this to me. Uh, the, I, I felt like I kind of assessed what the plot was going to be pretty early in this. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, I think it's still interesting because it's still like wondering, like, how are the events going to play out? Like, I, I, I think you kind of know the end game, but you're just still kind of like, well, what's going to happen next? What's going to happen next till you get to that point? So, you know, it, it, and also I think it's a, it's a good display of this camaraderie amongst these three folks, the doctor, the nurse and the lawyer that come together to really show you that throughout all the different things that they've been through, they still stick together for one another. Um, and not to mention, they also were considered suspects in this as well, too. And like going from, you know, trying to help somebody to becoming suspects to, you know, trying to figure out who they can trust. Like it's just an adventure of of, 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 of sort of survival, but yet mystery. So it's a murder mystery aspect branched around some political conspiracies. Hey, man, listen. <laughs> that's a lot of things going on here. <laughs> right, that's, how, that's how you know, like this story is like this is embellished, like history retelling story. You know what I mean? Like through, through a comedy fact, comedy mm-hmm. lens, where like the cops let you g- g- give you the time to get evidence to 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 get yourself out of the situation. Only in the movies, right? Like, it, no, you're going to jail. You know, hey, we we came by. You know, this we we suspect you of something. Uh, if you can get the evidence, then uh, you know we'll, we'll we'll let you go. This only happens in the movies, um, but I like how the movie, like you know, even though we're in the 1930s, they don't really hark down on like uh, you know black people or like or you know it, it just kind of seems like everybody just kind of exists at this point, and they do mention it, like the whole race factor, uh, you know, a lot in the like some some in the movie, but not to the point where they should, where you know Margot Robbie's character says, "Hey, in Amsterdam, we're, we're allowed to be." together like there's no judgment there's no whatever we can do what you want like you said amsterdam is the the escape the paradise from from their real life you know mm-hmm. bird going back home to his wife and dealing with certain things and mm-hmm. you know but yet you know it's still things back home in new york that they want to get back to like you know david wanted to become john, john's character wanted to become a a lawyer and, and, and such and such and margot robbie's character didn't want to go back home because there was there wasn't a life there for her that she wanted to come back to yeah. Um, but like you said, the you know, I would never if you would have told me that you know, if I would have seen the cast list for this years ago, I never would have thought, I'm like, man, Christian Bale, Margot Robbie, and John, D- what yeah. okay? Yeah. Um, but it, it works very well, man. This this Christian Bale that we've seen as of late, where he where where I feel like not to say he was taking serious roles all the time, but now he's like getting more into a he has more of a comedic sense in a lot of these movies now. If you go back, I mean, he's just he's continuing to show range. I right. think we have, you know, and obviously we're going to always have our favorite notable roles of Christian Bale. But I think like he is starting to tip his hat into the conversations of saying like he's one of the best actors. He's not just an entertaining actor that you know he he can for sure put on an, an an action film and be an action star we get it we know it it's been proven but now i think he's just showing a little bit of diversity in terms of whatever the genre may be and then you know playing that character that that is in demanding i think he did a good right. job in completely transforming in this and by the way just to kind of give a little bit of back backstory to this now when this i remember when this was sort of announced, this goes back into CinemaCon, and it was like, okay, John David Washington is obviously an actor that you know, at least for me, my eyes are already always set to see. Like, I, I want to see his next big role. I did not 
really enjoyed his performance in Tenet, and everybody thought that was going to be it. And Lord okay. knows that Robert Peterson, uh, uh, Robert Patterson, uh, walked circles around him in that in terms of who was the star. So, you know, I don't think he's a bad actor, but I'm still waiting for that really big defining moment. I think the uh, the film on Netflix with uh, with uh, Zendaya was good. So oh, yeah. you know, seeing that he was announced for this when he when when he was attached to this because this was not his film at first. This was actually Michael B. Jordan's film. And then it and then it ended up becoming um and, and then there was obviously because as I said, David O David O. Russell uh loves to uh use his folks again because it also was going to be Jennifer Lawrence. So it ended up being Margaret Roby, then Michael B. Jordan, then Michael B. Jordan stepped away, and then it ended up becoming John David Washington. So I was like, hey, listen, man, next man up. And I was definitely intrigued for that moment. Um, so you know, I I, I just want to say that this cast, I think that you know, obviously. The transformation of Christian Bale uh, is definitely the highlight of this. Margot Robbie just always plays fascinating characters. Um, and I think she has shown so much range before that seeing her play something uh, with a lot of heart um, and, and, and a character that you kind of connect to, especially with like her display for love or display for uh, commitment to this friendship and then her other little other unorthodox or unorthodox things that occurs with this character and i think she plays a real guy i don't want to talk in particular what happens with this character but there's certain developments with this character that you just really start to get into with her and then john john i gotta say from him you know being you know the 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 sort of the detective on the scene but then we seeing him meshing with uh margo's characters and we seeing him kind of lose and kind of lovey and then we see the camaraderie between him and christian bale's character right. so john did a fantastic job so i think this this film you you will get some laugh because chris rock is completely hilarious and like frankly i think he's one of my favorite characters i mean yeah he plays a very stereotypical comedic relief sort of you know character that you would expect him to play right. uh but it, it it does curate that sort of about the the balancing the toning the balancing of tones in this and then you know to kind of give a little bit more perspective about the film the film you know again being a period piece uh in the 1930s the cinematography the costume design i think all of it was done really well um you know it's just an extremely long film something i don't think i will revisit because of just the length right. but by all means this is a very solid watch if it seems like something that you would enjoy and then this cast up and down is good you know, again, no matter if somebody has a, a, a very uh, long and, and 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 very impactful role in terms of the the, the plot and story art, you'll enjoy them. Or somebody who just has a very minimal role, like like Rami's character. I think I think that like he comes in pretty late in the film, and you're kind of like, oh, okay, wh wh what you what you doing here? Like, what's what's about to happen here? And who he's paired with is interesting. So, you know, I, I don't know what's in the, the, the trailers. I, I don't want to give anything away, but like these folks have been announced, but I'm not going to, you know, give too much away. And then also the last thing I will say is the music. It's a lot of name attached to this. Drake, Future, uh, Giveon. So like, yeah, there's, there's a bunch of like well-known artists that's going to definitely carry this soundtrack for you. But Tara, I'll give it to you to kind of end this off at what were some other things about this film or, 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 or things you want to highlight in terms of what you liked or didn't like? Like, like, like I said before, mainly my, my biggest gripe with it was, like you said, the, the time. It was just a lot of moments that just felt like it carried on a little too long. Um, and I'm like, man, this probably could have been wrapped up an extra, you know, maybe 15 or 20, 20 minutes earlier. Um, I, I wish we had gotten longer moments with certain characters. I, I, I don't want to, like I said, I don't want to name um, or, or just gotten a, a relationship between two characters that had gotten more time, I wish um before before the movie ended but you know i i take what i can get i mean like they they wrap i think they wrapped it up as well as they could yeah with the you know the the, the plot reveal is what it was but like i said like i said big biggest thing i really love the i really love the trio here um the comedy bits were really good chris rock you know like you said being the audience for us and and, and saying the obvious things in the movie that we all would, <laughs> would have said um was, was hilarious um yeah. Not to say John David Washington plays the same character in every movie, but he he always kind of feels like the straight man to me. <laughs> you know what I mean? He, he's never he's never like the funny guy, you know, with the exception of that one show he was on. But like I said, re really, really, really good, really good movie here. Only yeah. only downfall was the time the time issue, but 
Other yeah. than that, like like you said, it's not it's not a rewatch for me be, be because of that. But I would definitely recommend it to somebody to watch at least one one good time. Yeah, I think when you talk about like what makes a good film in terms of film structure, I don't think anything lacks. I think it's just the runtime, the the plot. Um, you right, you know, rather how politically accurate this is, I don't know. I had never right. heard of this story, but yeah, because this story is influenced and based on true events. As I mentioned, this was you know one of the uh, biggest uh, political conspiracies um, in, in U.S. history. Uh, you know, the, you know, there's going to be some folks that may know about this and whatnot, and 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 they do do they do use a little bit of stock footage in in the uh, cr- the, the credit scene, so you can kind of see the comparisons in terms of the character and the delivery right. of a certain aspect of this film and so on. So, you know, hats off to David. Um, you know, hopefully we don't have to wait so long for his next film. Uh, he definitely knows how to bring together a party and up and down the board, no matter who the cast members are from all the way from Christian Bale to somebody like Rami, who's just in it for a little minimum role. He, everybody had their shine and there's a lot of names attached to this. And, uh um, <laughs> and, and and when you when you see folks and the roles that they take and what happens is interesting it's a character i really want to talk about but i feel like it's pretty much a spoiler but there's a there's a there's a really really well-known uh person who's not traditionally known as an actor who comes in very early in this film that i was a little bit shocked at their performance as just how <laughs> captivating they were and i wish we also had more time with this character but this character uh was a very pivotal part into the 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 the, the jump start into the drama and the conflict in the film so right. yeah yeah so hey you know do your job go check this out in theaters october 7th this is amsterdam jump in the comments folks let us know your thoughts about this film when you do and as always stay tuned for more reviews very soon.